and we're back with another episode of Let's Play PC Building Simulator. I'm your host, the RPG Guy. Let's get to it! It's not going to create itself. So let's put these guys up and at them. Put some light on. Let's make sure we do this correctly by looking at these PCs. Um, so we need to upgrade this bad boy to the glorious 16 gigs of RAM. So we'll do that now. Kinda 2400. Whoops, memory. Boom, and you can see as long as the RAM is matching, it'll fit. Um, the color of the sticks is never something that's relevant. You just have to make sure that they're matching. Let's pull this open. Open says me. All right, let's take a look at this first. Uh, this first rig here. Um, that we're working on is this one. White cables. White cables deserves. All right. Um, we were finishing this part up. All right. So we need to redo the cabling in the entire machine. Which really just means we got to unplug everything. One cable. There we go. Good. Unplugged. Unplugged. Now, I didn't put the heat sink on yet. We'll do that after we plug all this stuff back uh, in. Just because this takes a little bit more work than everything else. So. All right, heat sink. Get on there, you prick. There we go. And boom shakalaka. Close her up. So this guy needs to be able to play Hero Truck Simulator. I believe we bought a better stick of RAM for that all around. Because our budget was 100 bucks, And all he needed was 4 gigs of RAM to make it work, if I'm not mistaken. So it's not like we gotta, we got to go hardcore Holly on it. We just need to make it rather simple. Um, let's make sure the RAM is set, which it is not. Boop. Why pay for a high-performance machine when you refuse to use the performance? Alright, I didn't need to disconnect that. Let's go with, uh, memory of the 8-gig high-speed variety. It's riddled with prawn, prawn, riddled with prawn. Runs a scan. All right, now we just got to clean this guy out. Clean, 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 clean. Cleaning, cleaning computer, cleaning, cleaning computer, clean, clean, cleaning computer. All right, let's plug it all back in, and then again we'll run the usual suspects. Double checking, all boots up. No harm, no foul. And then we'll be good to go with this guy and get her done. So, yeah, we'll make sure to pop the part. Yeah, 20 bucks remaining, so we should be good. Still going. Set 
the RAM. Do 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 do. So we're gonna scan because scanning is your friend. The, in the inevitable search for prawn. Why do you say inevitable? Inevitable, because everybody gets some, somewhere, somehow. Unbeknownst to them, the prawn will arrive and do the unspeakable to you. All right, let's shut that down. This is done. Do 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 do. Open says me. Make sure the other one's scanning. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. Alright, this is just a vid card upgrade. Or replacement, rather. So another rather simple machine. It's just dirty as hell inside. When you leave your computer, brawl the warehouse of doom. Sell it. Seal it. Deal it, baby. Mm. Let's get this all plugged in. PCI but lock back on. I'm checking to make sure it looks like we seems like we got all the dust. one is done. Before we get too far, let's double check our cabling here. White cables are in that. All new hardware. We're cleaning that out and working on that one. Okay. Really quick before we do this, I want to make sure the RAM is set. Man, these guys who get these computers not built by me are so freaking cheap. So lazy. Is there a reason not to have somebody's RAM set properly to the right speed? Is there? Is, let me know, guys, if there's actually a reason. Outside of voltage. That's a, like a given. All right, uh, thirty-four seventy-one. All right, so two things I think we were gonna do. No, no, no. I take that back. Let's leave the ram stick there. And see how much it is just with the video card. I believe it's a perfect amount. Yeah, zero remaining. So, yeah, not much more we're going to be able to do with that. And it's we can't mess with that either. So, this should be enough. We'll find out. Is it one of those few times where it's like right on the nose? We'll see. Skin.
go ahead and lock this in. Thirty-two forty-four and plastic black cables, huh? So plastic black cables, which pretty much means we gotta undo everything in here. And I think it was just a video card issue, so maybe also RAM. We'll see. can take it out it means we've un undone everything the problem is it's sometimes hard to tell if you unplugged everything in these smaller cases so let's double check now the other thing too is we may score bad on this one because this was a level four I don't think we had access to for some weird reason yeah, it looks like everything's unplugged. Okay. I can live with that. Um, we need to open another slot. So this this could give us a four-star rating. If it does, it means we got a lot of work to get back to five. And it can throw off a lot of our ability to do certain missions. But that's just the way it goes. Um, we could have skipped this mission because we didn't have the means to do it. And it would have sustained our rating. Um, but I'm more of a person that likes to complete stuff because when you complete missions, you get access to other items. Now, with that said, is this item that we might get for completing this mission may not be that important or that good. So if you keep that into consideration, if you put that into consideration, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, well, you could have skipped it, m missed out on a mediocre item that you probably didn't need anyway. But... I'm trying to complete as many as possible without leaving any in the dust. And I'd rather leave them in the dust because I'm forced to do it rather than, well, this could happen this way. And sometimes, and in my experience with this game, it sometimes seems, at least to me, that you get random uh, freaking uh, you know, uh, requests sometimes. They don't come in like a fixed order. So you are sometimes are just going to run into this problem where you... Um, you're trying to 100%. You, I, I, I think 100%ing the game is a complete chance. Because there's just going to be stuff you don't have access to right away. And you're you're left to the kind of the mercy of the game to do it. So that's just my, my, my philosophy of the way this game is laid out. I don't think it's fi like fixed jobs. There are some fixed jobs in there when you level up and stuff. But there are some ran randos in there that are in there at the wrong time or the wrong place or something along those lines because it screws with your ability to get stuff done eff effectively and efficiently. All right, anyway, enough of my, my bitching. Let's go ahead and boom. We stayed in the budget by zero dollars, good. We did all, we redid all the cabling here, so the only thing that could be missing is either we don't get the performance we want or no, we're going to scan. So, yeah, so far this is a perfect machine. The only issue is the timing. And I think that might have something to do with it. Even though it said there was no timing. Oh, was the time good? What did we score on this? Well, we met the requirement, so that's good. Let's remove. We can check that out later anyway curious what we scored and I blew right by it do 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 off 
All right, what did we score actually on this? Oh, we were right on it. Nice. Uh, makes sense though. So let's go ahead and get this collected here. Yay! Peripherals we don't care about. That now peripherals is a new feature. There's even a shop for it and everything. But you gotta buy the shop. That's not a joke. You gotta actually purchase the so shop software. So the peripherals, if you must know, are the keyboard, the mouse, this big pad here, and all the little pads and keyboards and mice all throughout the area. You can pay to have them changed out and all that stuff if you really want to. So there you go. So yeah, this is the level four we didn't get. It says it's urgent, so please hurry, but we did it as quickly as possible. But I have a feeling that's going to give us a four, or a four star or three star rating because of shenanigans. Um, which isn't a big deal, I don't think, because we're not at five stars yet, but it's going to make it harder for us to get five stars, especially when we need it. Um, so, <laughs> alright, 3379, good. So I get the impression that anything mentioned in the email, if it's not followed to the letter, they... Sorry, that's my, my crying sound for these idiots. Alright. Yeah, see, so we got a little rating, um, probably because we didn't get it done in a timely manner. But we got the black plastic cables, and that was really the only other request. We benchmarked it as well, so I don't really know what, what do you want me to do, you know? Um... Uh, it's urgent, so please hurry. Well, put a time limit on it, bitch. Hey, thanks for your help with that hard drive before. My Sonic Monk article went down a treat. Would you believe I'm struggling to find a replacement copy of Babes of Planet Bathamore? The best I've come across so far is a bootleg DVD of the theatrical cut, but the color reproduction of the naked buffet scene was just awful, and the screen went all wobbly during Captain Cartwright's rousing speech of the downtrodden underclass. I've been checking online auctions every day for months, but I can't find genu uh, genuine, unsullied laser disc version. What if the landmark film is lost forever? But if I were to start my own cult classic archive, I need to give it some thought. Blake Paterberg, assistant junior manager, movie maniacs, action! Mm. Uh, oh, God. Good day. I knew all of this technology was a terrible idea. It was doomed from the outset. I have had to sit by the whole by as the whole technological farce tumbles down around me. You think electronics these days would be able to handle a simple five hundred page novel, but apparently it's simply too much to ask. First my keyboard gave up the ghost, and now I'm being told that I'm running on low disk space. Whatever happened to the days of just writing directly onto paper and submitting a finished draft by hand? Naturally, one first had to build a small outbuilding in which to properly store one's paper. My father was cedar. My father's was cedar, but any hardwood would do in a pinch. The really important part is choosing the location, good drainage and proximity to the house of birth of paramount importance, and as avoiding any obviously uneven terrain. It is all worth it, of course, because after the proper storage is arranged, one can move on to the exciting task of collecting writing paper. But <laughs> I digress. I gather it's fairly simple to fix a simple fix to add more disk space, but naturally I'm loath to attempt it myself. Would you be so kind as to do whatever is necessary? Best regards, Bruce Van Cleef, award winning author and complete prick. Alright, so 500. <laughs> 500 uh, gigabyte storage is what he wants. That's an easy enough request to uh, manage here. So we go into storage. Let's sort it out. And he wants 500 gig. Now, if you look here, and this is something um, just to point out too, is he wants 500 gigabyte, no brand specific. The Martoni's transfer speed is 140 versus the Barracuda, Seagate Barracuda, which is 210 price is the same the size is the same any chance we get to get performance over model or brand we're going to take performance got to remember i got to remind myself to do that easier said than done but that's the general gist of things 
Do you work with computers? I'm looking to upgrade my PC. I saw a PC build online, the benchmark 2153. Can you hit that? My kid's been using it, and I'm getting some weird problems. Can you make this your number one priority, please? Well, we accept, but really, what are you asking here? You're at 1962, so you're not quite there in performance. Um, I'm not sure if it's a Vigicard problem or a processor problem. The G4400 is pretty high. I think it's a Vigicard problem. Vigicard! Let's take a look here and see where his Vigicard lies. I need to put it like there where I can get to it. So he's at a 280, R9-280, 3G. So R9280, gaming 3 right there. So, well, that's okay. Wait a minute. That's a regular gaming. Oh, excuse me. Uh, that's a regular gaming, so it's probably worse. I think LEDs are worse. They're like lights. R, okay. R9, 280, 3G LE. R80, rather. R9, 280. Okay, so it's down in this area here. In order to get that performance we would need, we'd probably need to go up to an R9 380 4G. So let's take a look here. So that's way out of range, budget, budget, budgetarily. So the only other option is to look at the 280 Gaming 3. 280... Gaming 3, 170, it's still out of range. So it's more, I'm more inclined to believe that it's not a video card, video card problem. It is a processor problem. 8 gigs at 2400 is probably fine. So let's go into the Pentiums here and see where we're at at 4400. Yeah, so we're way down here. So we can spend up to 155 on, I believe, a Skylake. So let's take a look here. Uh,. Yes, yeah, Skylake. So let's go into processors. And we'll just do Skylake. And 155. So we'll go with the 6400. I know we did a lot of... I, I put a lot of thought into that. More so than some of my, the other computers. But it makes sense to just put in that kind of effort this time around. Um, this dude wants light gray cables. Great. My PC is sluggish. My graphics card isn't good enough. Right now, I'm after 16 gigs of memory. If you can, I'd love some plastic light gray cables in there. I think I might have visited one too many dodgy sites. All right, let's take a look. What do you have? Uh, G-Skill Fortis 8 gig. That's fine. So we can just go to memory, Fortis, and it's 8. No, boom, 70 bucks. So that puts us at 1. Uh, no, it's 405 minus 70. So it puts us at... 335 yeah 335 we accept this of course do we accept the other ones so we're at 335 uh for a graphics card what does he have he's got a 970 gaming 4 so that's not very high well no 970 gaming 4 is right here uh, hmm does he have a specific brand request not really. So we have 335 bucks to burn on a Vigi card here. Um, let's see. 335. Oh, 340. That's a definite fix right there. We know that one. So we're more or less down here. Um, GTX 970 Gaming 4. GTX 970... Gaming for 970 Gaming LE 100 ME, but it looks like the the 970 Gamer XL. This seems strange. Why does this seem strange to me?
970 Gaming 100 ME is right there. 970 Gamer XL. So they're in the 280s. Um, what about this? Right here. The GTX 970 Gaming 4G Golden Edition. Let's see. Well, that's even higher at a price that we can afford. We could go higher. We can't go to 340, though, but we can go up to these guys. These don't look better. These look like lies to me. So, a big old sack of lies. These guys are better than what's in there. Let's go with the golden. And let's do some math here. Um, I would say that we're in a position where uh, the best one to do would be 285 plus 70 355 so we have 50 bucks more that we could spend um this person wanted 16 gigs so what if we said minus 70 that would give us 285 so It's 120 bucks to spend on RAM, and I'm wondering, this is 2400, what are we having 16 gigs? Ah, $10 more, hmm, okay, so, if we do minus, so if we leave that RAM, we'll just leave the RAM in there. But we have 50 bucks to burn. We may as well burn it on something. What's in this fucking thing? We have 50 bucks to burn. I would say... Mm, you know, maybe there's nothing worth burning. Upgrading, you know? He's got two drives. We can't afford a second stick of RAM. I don't see a point in upgrading that. We need 55 to, to upgrade the power supply. So, I, I just don't think there's much really more we can do. Um, so, I'm not going to bother. I mean, theoretically, we could add another hard drive in there. But th there's that's not usually an expensive thing to add. So, we'll just leave it as is. And we'll get gray cables ready. So, a lot more RAM. Processor and more processors and uh, coolers. Uh, power supply, I believe. And we unlock peripheral shop, colored cables, and Intel Cabby Lake motherboards. So, more advanced, supposedly advanced motherboards. Which they, they technically are. And there's all of that. Yay. All right. So, we've got the stuff we need to get here. Let's go ahead and buy it now. I think we're relatively good here. Are we? Yes. All right. So, and everything is in transit. Power down. We're at about 2600 We're almost in that range where I would say, hey, let's go and do that big upgrade for our stuff. But we might do it after this per, after this run of goods here. So let's go to work after this job. After the after these jobs. After these jibbity jobs. Do -ba -do -do -ba -do. Let's put these up. And boot you up. Now we need to make sure that we've got I think this one wanted gray cables, so we'll double check. Before we get too involved here, uh, boop, 16 gigs, plastic light gray cables. Okay, so, let's go ahead and open Sesame. We need to disconnect all the cabling anyway. I don't know why I'm... I don't care about peripherals, go away. They're not selling me on it. Doesn't improve the performance of what we're trying to do. It's it's aesthetics. 
which is fine. There's nothing, by the way, there's nothing wrong with enjoying a game's aesthetic look, but we're going to go with this stuff for now. And we will change the aesthetics later in the game, but we're not worrying about it now. Definitely not right now. All right, so. Cable's gray, which may as well be freaking white. Now we need to change out the video card. We'll do the video card last. God damn you. Can't put that in yet. It's gonna take you out. And then graphics called the golden with fifty bucks remaining. Embarrassingly enough, I guess we could have put another hard drive in there, but well, whatever. Theoretically, we could have also upgraded the main hard drive or the this one. Figure out what the computer boots to, but eh, not that worried about it. Let's put that in. This one, I believe, was a video card upgrade as well. And... Test it. Alright, so... Sorry, budget. Okay, so this is actually just the... Uh, this um, processor boom and this one we need to make sure that the RAM setting is good Chances are it is not. There we go. Check for the prawn, which it is riddled with a little bit. Little dab of prawn will do you. It'll milk you. Dude, you just took it too far. You can never take jokes too far. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead. This guy's done. Upgrade to 500 gigs of storage, though I think... No, it's just 500 gigs of storage. But we are using a better drive. Technically.
We'll install the usual suspects. I know I keep using that term, but that's really what it is. It's the same two programs. Eventually, later in the game, there will be three to four suspects. But until then, meh. Meh. I tell you, meh. All right, this one be done, I believe, right? Yes, barely made it. And all you gotta do is barely make it to technically make it. So. <laughs> My evil penguin laugh for the day. I get one. I get one. Sometimes I even in bed. Mm. Let's go ahead and grab that dumper. Alright, let's get over here and get to the collecting. Done. Und done. Sweet. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five jobs. Holy crap. Or no, one of this. Blake Petterberg is proud to present the Film Classic Archive, www.filmclassic.freehosting.co.uk, temporary URL pending industry sponsorship. A carefully curated collection of cult films dedicated to protecting the and preserving classics like Babes of Planet Bathamore, Wet Heat Dry Heart, and the Front Buster series. From founder Blake Paterberg is an industry professional with over five years' experience as assistant junior moderator at community-led news and review authority Movie Maniacs. Thanks to his passion for true cinema and appreciation of the classics, the film classics archive is guaranteed to, uh, to be around for generations to come. Testimony is from leading industry figures. Yes, Blake Paterberg was on our moderation staff, Movie Maniacs direct quote. He's always loved his films, especially those funny foreign ones. Lucille Paderberg, history teacher, retired. Quick payment and no fuss, A double plus buyer. The movie guy, 1988 experienced media reseller. More testimonials to be announced. No matter how useless they may be. Only Blake Paderberg and the Film Classes Archive have what it takes to preserve cinematic history. Sign up as a supporter today. Blake Paderberg, chief archivist and cult film expert, Film Classics Archive. Action! This guy needs to be taken out back and beaten to death with kendo sticks. Alright, um, let's go ahead. So this is this guy should be done, right? We were just doing a replacement, so... Power down. And let's get it back out here. And collect. So let's buy the parts that we know we need to buy for these four rigs. Okay, that's what I'm thinking. We'll do the build a new PC. Well, let's do it first, I guess. Um, but really what I want to do is I want to make sure everything's purchased and see how much money we have left before we move. Kind of move on here. So this is our first build. Hello there. I need a new PC for a local train enthusiast club. It doesn't need to be fancy, but I could do it with a reasonable amount of RAM and storage for the weekly slideshow shows they can get rather long many things so, rub so we're obviously going to accept this now we can go to the whiteboard and you can actually have the parts shipped today and finish the job in the same day since we only have one pc build we're not going to do that um and so i only usually do that if i have something i need to also get reworked so we our budget is 750 and the dude wants 16 gigs of ram um usually this is where you would say the cheapest thing to do is to just get the cheapest stuff not always the best situation, but, but, we're going to try to be as cheap as possible while still creating a decent product and then back off cost-wise where we kind of need to make up for it. Um, so we need to go into the 8 gig range, which be here, and I want to go to 2400, so the cheapest ones are these three guys. He needs 16 gigs, so we're going to do it with two of these bad boys. And he needs a 500 gig hard drive, which is rather standard. Go with the Barracuda power supply. He doesn't need a lot, but if you want to upgrade later down the road, we'll go with the five for five dollars more. We get an extra fit 
50 watts? No, we get an extra 150 watts. So, boom. Cases. We're going to probably stick to one or two case models unless dictated otherwise by requests. We're going to go with the Antec DS500 for now. It's a little pricey. We could go with the two smaller silver stones, theoretically, but at a cost. They're smaller, and you can't put in multiple GPUs in these guys most of the time. So I tend to shy away from these guys. So for $20 more, we have all the space we could want. So we've got that power supply storage graphics card. Um, now, theoretically, you could throw a used card in there, but I'd rather save them for us. Uh, and really, there's two cards. One that takes up, I think this one takes up one slot. This one takes up two. But it really doesn't matter. We're going for cheap. And then we could change this out after we figure everything else out. We've got our memory. So motherboard. Motherboards are going to be based on what kind of processor we want to put in. Now, with that said, we're only at full 370-ish, give or take. And I say that pretty openly for sure. Um, I don't think we need to go with the... Well, we can get it up to 2800. 2666 is the regular processor set. Um, going any higher, I don't see, 3200 is not available in, um, Intel. And, in, and Intel is going to be the cheapest buy. So, I would say, for the sake of argument, we'll go with the MTech Plus at 150. Cooling, we'll just get something cheap. And then processor. Now, we, we can technically upgrade our RAM to 2800. I don't know if we go, I don't even think we can go that high. But we need to figure out a processor here. Um, let's sort it by Skylake. Um, and how much do we have to spend? We have we're at 540, so we have 160 to spend, theoretically. Um, so we could actually go with maybe. Oops, the filter got messed up. Could possibly go with. We, do you do, do if we go too high we won't have any room to upgrade the ram so let's 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 get to okay we can't get to a quad core no matter how much i want to let's do that so that puts us at 655 so these are 70. Let's go back into memory really quick. That's 40 bucks more. And that puts us right on the right on the threshold because when you take 30 bucks out that's 695. So let's double check the motherboard really quick. I'm I'm happy with this really. The motherboard. Um, of course it never says here. You actually have to go over here. Twenty eight hundred. Okay. So and we've got twenty eight hundred sticks. So it's not the best processor in the world, but the RAM is good. The hard drive is good. Everything else in here is really good. Um, and the processor isn't that bad. It is a dual core, but it's. Everything else performance-wise is spot is primo. All right, so this one's really good. Can you upgrade my PC? So my rig is running really slowly lately, and I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you do some benchmark modding? Do you like cable modding? I saw some great plastic black ones the other day. Can you get it done quickly? 3D mark of 3224. 30, 32, uh, I would say that it's a video card problem right out the gate. Um... 8 gig of RAM should get them there. It's it's going to be 90% video card. Um, RX 560. Let's take a look here. That should be way at the bottom. RX 560. There it is right there. Way at the bottom. So anything video card wise would help. Um, with a big budget of $455. You can almost get anything. Four hundred and fifty-five dollars. You can go right up to the big six gig beast up here. Um, I don't see an eight gig card. 
I'm, I'm. Well, that's four thirty-five. Um, the other thing we could do is go cheaper and upgrade the RAM to the next tier. So twenty-four hundred. Let's do that. Let's do. I believe it's X Flare. I believe it's this one. I don't see the rip jaw anywhere. Uh, we'll double check. G Skill Flare X eight gig. Seventy bucks. So three. What does that leave us with? Three thirty five? Three thirty five I wanna say. Which actually puts us I think where we want it to be. Three thirty five. So oh wait, that's four thirty five. Oops. Three thirty five. I don't think this is a good card. Uh, here we go. 308 gig right here. Boom. That should get us that score perfectly. If not higher. In theory. Um, this is embarrassing, but I need some repairs. Who knew the RAM had to go in one way around? Is it... Is it is it the RAM? I'm going to need it in four days. Team group components are about to be the bomb. Is it okay that it's so dusty? Replace RAM. Well, he wants something very specific. We actually have this. It's just not red. I believe. Shut up. Talk about that later. Yes, we have one already, so we don't need to buy it. Shouldn't matter what color it is. Alright. My PC just doesn't run fast enough right now. I want to make sure my rig is as fast as it can be. Can you get it to benchmark at least 3186? I think I clicked on something bad. Don't try and pass up any these parts. I want all new stuff. <coughs> 265 is the budget. Um. Okay. Well, 280 great 3G isn't that bad. Processor isn't that bad either. But they're at least a thousand away. Huh. I think it's a combination of RAM and, and video card. And it has to be all new stuff for 3186. 2800 is really good, though. Um, but usually to get over 3000, you need 8 gigs of RAM. But let's see. 280 great. 280 great. There's 290 great. 280 great 3G. Isn't that... It, it's low. Well, okay. Let me rephrase. It is kind of low. It could just be that. Um, let me see the RAM here. Four gig at twenty eight hundred. Do, 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 do. It's fifty bucks. So boom. So we have two hundred and fifteen bucks to spend if we include the RAM on a video card. So two hundred and what did I say? Two hundred and fifteen. So, it would be this crappy 2 gig. Oh, no, there's a 4 gig over here at 980 hertz. That's not very good. I have a feeling that the R9 380 is worse than what's here. R9 380 gaming 4 gig. Actually, uh, R9 3... Wait, what? No way. R9 380 Gaming 4 is better. It's not a thousand better. It's not that much better. But it's making me ponder this idea. Okay, so there's two things that would happen. If we got the 4 gig, it would be an improvement. My concern is that it's not high enough. It was only 430 something points. If we added 50 bucks, let's see where we would be. We would be at 265. There's not much except this that's 265. And the Gamer 970 is even higher than that. So I'm thinking that this is really what we need. That extra stick of RAM 
is really not nice is probably not necessary now the only thing is if this doesn't work um, we we go with the other combo and we, we are sitting on an extra video card uh, it's gonna happen it happen it'll ha it's gonna happen you know but that could do it right out the gate at 265 and really we do have one of these in inventory to test or no that's a different card never mind so we don't have one of these to test. So I'm just going to go ahead and go with the Sheen uh, bigger card that's right on the money for upgrade. The only other option is, like I said, add the ramp stick and the other thing. So anyway, we're going to go ahead. We got everything here. We've got the stuff for the new build. Let's go ahead. I think we have everything we need, so let's buy now. Uh, and shut everything down and make it a brand new day. So I want to thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG Guy. And uh, when we come back, we've got our first build, our first computer build. That's going to be fun. Where we build a computer from scratch with brand new parts and all kinds of stuff. So it's going to be good. So thank you guys for stopping by. I am your host, the RPG Guy. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, check out my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash jacktardstudios for more JRPG, live, um, uh, simulation games, action games, FPSs, and more. You can also check out our tabletop show, the chairman of the board show that appears on that channel. And just on top of that, and on top, well, rather, on top of that, you can also check out Hobo Head Crab Blind Plays, where my buddy Hobo Head Crab from a generation before mine is playing through some old school JRPGs and other games that he completely missed out on because he just wasn't born in the best and golden age of RPGs. And he's loving it. He's doing Grandia 2 right now. Uh, by the time this comes out, he might be in Chrono Trigger. So definitely check that out because to see somebody's genuine reaction to a masterful game series is always, always awesome. So again, thank you for stopping by. We'll see you guys next time. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please take a moment to check out more episodes from the RPG Guy, Tuesday Night Team Up, and more. And please subscribe. Always support the channels you enjoy watching, and while you're at it, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Keep on gaming hard. See you next time.